Go for Gold India is our top focus this Wednesday morning because there's a lot of action expected at Tokyo and it's all about women power. Lovlina Borgohan will be in the semi-final bout, will be taking to the ring in a few hours from now at 11 a.m. Besides that, your women's hockey team semi-final clash is also later today. But let's first focus on Lovlina Borgohan, the Pugilist's amazing journey in the Tokyo Olympics. Borya Majumdar is joining us live from Tokyo with all the latest on the action that's coming in. Borya, good afternoon. Lot of expectations from Lovlina. It's going to be hugely challenging for her, the semi-final bout. She's up against world number one. But if anyone can do it, it's perhaps Lovlina. Of course she can, Akshita. Of course she can. And Busanaz Surmanelli is a very good boxer, but she's not unbeatable. I mean, Tokyo so far has been the, the tournament of the underdog, the Olympics of the underdog. If you take a look at tennis, Novak Djokovic gets beaten. In badminton, Kento Momota gets beaten. So why not uh, Busana Surmanelli? I mean, uh, let me also just update you. Ravi Dahia uh, just now won his first wrestling contest 13-2. That's our first wrestling win here in Tokyo. He now qualifies for the next round. So that's good start for Ravi Dahia. Uh, Anshu Malik will also be in action very shortly. Neera Chopra made the finals with an 86-plus throw. So overall, it is quite fantastic so far. I mean, a, a very, very impressive day. You just want it to get better. And like you said, Lovlina Borghoen has huge chance. All I want Lovlina to do is play a tactical and a strategic bout. Go in, hit, come out. Because uh, Busana Surmanelli is a tough boxer. But Lovlina with her, you know, very quick foot movement, go in, come out, reach, she's tall. She definitely has the potential to cause an upset. Fingers crossed for her, Akshita. Between Lovlina and the women's hockey team, if we can make one tonight, it will be a tremendous, tremendous effort. Uh, we're all rooting for Lovlina, of course. But uh, also speaking about the challenge that she faces, Borya, you did say uh, that, you know, someone like the world number one champion from Turkey, who Lovlina is up against, she's not clearly unbeatable. But Lovlina will have to be at her A game to really ensure a win at the semi-final bout. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Busana Sulmanelli in the last uh, match against Ukraine, she's a lot of antics. If you see, she will come, she'll start jumping like a frog when she starts the first round. And thereafter, we'll scream. Her coaches will scream a lot, trying to impose a psychological thing on her opponent. You will see a lot of these antics coming from Busana Surmanelli. I'm sure Lovelina's uh, support staff have seen all of it. I'm sure they're ready for all of it because these are all part and parcel of modern sport. Having said that, Comparatively, take a Jalolov against a Satish. If I have to compare pedigree, I don't see Busana Surmanelli of that pedigree. 2019 world champion, yes. But if you've beaten Chen Chen and Ten, you know, of Chinese Taipei, the 2018 world champion, and also you had lost to Ch uh, Chen in the 2018 New Delhi world championship, no reason why Lavlina Borghoen will not be able to compete and outclass Busana Surmanelli. Fingers crossed, Akshita, two hours from now, her date with history, our tryst with history. Hopefully, you and I will be able to report something wonderful. I certainly hope so, Borea. I certainly hope we'll have good news for our viewers in a few hours from now. But stay with me, Borea, because the other big match that we're going to be talking about is the women's hockey team. They're also in the semi-finals. They're going to be taking on Argentina at about 3.30 this afternoon. What can you expect from that bout? After their thrilling win over favourites Australia, we tell you in this report. India, a country where cricket takes centre stage over all other sports. And yet, it is hockey that's the talk of the town right now. With the men's team losing their semi-final clash against Belgium, all eyes are now on the women's hockey team. And why not? The Indian women have pulled off one of their most memorable victories ever in Olympics history. Remember Chuck Day India in the movie Indian Eve's triumph over the Aussies against all odds. And that is exactly what happened in the quarterfinals of the Olympics. Gurjeet Kaur's solitary goal was enough as India caused the biggest upset in the tournament, beating pool toppers and three-time Olympic champions Australia. A special victory for the nation. Australia had conceded just one goal in the tournament before this game. But the Indians held on to their nerves and did not allow them to dominate. India managed to keep the hockey rules at bay all through the match. 
highlighted by the fact that they kept out nine penalty corners from the world number 2 side it was india's goalkeeper savita punia who produced saves time and again to deny the australians india showed a great mix of aggression and strategy throughout the game they thwarted australian attacks skillfully especially in the last quarter when emily choker's side desperately looked for an equalizer but the job is only half done india need another victory in the semis to confirm a medal and they'll now take on argentina who knocked germany out in the first quarter final while australia were the bigger fish india can't afford to take the argentinians lightly they are tricky opponents and after their poor show at the rio games like india they too will be vying for glory a tough battle awaits the indian eves in the last four but let's hope the indian women can come through to reach their maiden olympic final sports bureau india today taking this back across to boria boria you know the women's hockey team what a surprise they pulled in the quarter finals by you know edging out australia 1-0 and if anyone can do it now in the semi finals against argentina it's these women well absolutely akshita i mean rani rampal savita punia and that team vandana kataria and the rest of the girls have been stellar look at that campaign first three losses you have to dig deep you have to show a lot of resilience you have to show a lot of commitment a lot of self belief to be able to come back from such a campaign and this is not simply now even in qualifying when they made it to tokyo that contest it was 5-0 in their favor when they conceded five goals against the united states they won 6-5 so overall under sad mari this team has been quite stellar and the coach too you know he's actually sort of been instrumental in pumping these girls up today they are playing the battle of their lives this is perhaps the greatest ever match in the history of indian women's hockey and rani rampal tomorrow might be just immortal she might just be immortalized in the annals of our sport if she makes it to the olympic hockey final so everything at stake to play for can they soak in the pressure give it their best all of us will be there at the oe hockey range to cheer for our girls uh, akshita fingers crossed for them you guys watch from india all of us will take uh, carry forward all your best wishes and be in that stadium absolutely uh, let's hope that you know we see them making it through to the finals also and creating history for us at the olympics bori i'm going to let you go thank you very much for joining us so we'll of course keep coming through to you through the day uh, as we get our viewers all the updates from tokyo but this olympics there's one recurring theme it's of nari shakti about women power because we've been seeing our women athletes doing exceedingly well meera bai chanu pv sindhu lovely Now, the women's hockey team they were all done so very well and brought laurels and glory for india the indian women have taken the world by storm india's nari shakti has been on display at the tokyo olympics meera bai chanu lovelina borgoin pv sindhu kamalpreet kaur and now the indian women's hockey team the women are showing the men how it needs to be done after meera bai chanu scripted history by winning silver in weightlifting it was lovelina borgoin who boxed like there was no tomorrow ensuring a medal for india the color of which is still not confirmed then it was the queen pv sindhu's turn after her silver at the rio olympics She became India's most successful female Olympian by winning bronze in Tokyo. But the cherry on top has to be the women's hockey team, punching way above their weight. Their win against Australia is their biggest ever victory in history. India caused a massive upset to send the hockey roos packing, and while the men too are in the semis after their win against Great Britain, the women team's victory against the mighty Aussies tops them all. India has won 5 Olympic medals since 2016. 3 in Tokyo and 2 from Rio. And all 5 have been won by women. In 2016, apart from PV Sindhu, it was Sakshi Malik who had won the bronze medal in wrestling. The men are struggling to keep up with the women. While the men's hockey team is in with a medal chance, the rest have struggled in Tokyo. Barring Saurabh Chaudhary who lost out in the individual final in the 10 meter pistol event, No man from India has even come close to a shot at glory and the Indian women are still not done. India will have high hopes from the likes of Vinesh Bogat, 
a medal in wrestling would be a great way to cap off an impressive outing for the Indian women. Sports Bureau, India Today.